Crimes Courts featured local by Daniel Namukulu Harari City Council's bid to contest the judgment awarding its finance director labor damages amounting to $760,000, has hit the snag after the labor court denied the local authority access to appeal to the Supreme Court. Harare City Council workers hoist new flags at the High Court in preparation for the opening of the 2018 legal year picture by memory Mungu Mr. Justin Mandisa, who was employed by council as finance director, was unlawfully dismissed from work and a labor officer ordered his reinstatement to payment of damages. The labor court confirmed the labor officer's decision, resulting in the local authority seeking permission to appeal the decision at the Supreme Court. Labor Court Judge Justice Lawrence Murazi ruled that council had no prospects of success on appeal. He dismissed the application for leave to appeal with costs. It is my view that the Supreme Court is unlikely to find favor with applicants' interpretation of the provision, said Justice Murazi. Thus, there are no prospects of success on the two grounds of appeal. In the circumstances, I am of the view that the application for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court is devoid. If merit, it is accordingly dismissed with costs. Top labor lawyer Mr. Rogers Matsukidze of Matsukidze and Muchesh Law Firm represented Mr. Mandisa, while Mr. Charles Quarambar of Mabidzo, Muchadev Hummer and Mikoni acted for the local authority. On May 18, 2016, Harare City Council wrote to Mr. Mandisa terminating his contract of employment. The following day, Mr. Mandisa responded, seeking clarification of the reasons for dismissal. Mr. Mandisa, irked by the conduct of his employer, took the matter to a labor officer who ruled in his favor. Mr. Mandisa was reportedly fired for failing to steer the city out of debt and not doing enough to reduce ballooning salary arrears. But he argued that his dismissal was unlawful on the basis that no proper assessment or evaluation of his contract of employment was done. He said the compensation should be $760,000 and other benefits. Mr. Mandiza joined Harare in 2015 after a short stint with Cashflow Solutions Private Limited. He worked with the United Nations World Food Program in the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization before landing the Council Post, the Herald Justin Mandis Labor Court Previous Post ZRP High School sued over bills Next Post ZSE stocks continue to fall unabated.